Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond, and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of Ready Steady Worm by River Horse Games, which features characters from the movie Labyrinth by Jim Henson. I will be doing a review of this later on, but for now let's just take a look at what's in the box. Right, so this is the box, Ready Steady Worm, with of course the worm from the Labyrinth movie and a couple of other worms there. It's a game for two to four players, ages six and up, which plays in about 20 minutes. Some nice artwork here of the Labyrinth and of some of those goblins cheering them on. So that looks fun. And on the back, you can see the components, the board, these worm miniatures. There's a podium there, uh, cards, tokens, dice. So yeah. Let's uh, open up the box and uh, see what's inside. All right, so first of all, we have a small booklet here, which, yeah, come on inside, have a nice cup of tea. Hello. <laughs> there he is from the scene in the movie. So cool. The components are listed here. There are Alexa cards. You can use Alexa, the app, to uh, help with this uh, game, apparently. So whenever you draw an Alexa card, you can play, simply place it onto the discard and say, Alexa, ready, steady, worm. If you have an Alexa-compatible device. <laughs> that's interesting. So that's an optional functionality that you can use. Playing the game. These two pages of rules. And here is scoring. So it's incredibly simple. This is basically all the rules you need. And half of that is, you know, the dice and, and, and images. So basically these are the rules. It's incredibly simple. Look at that nice image from the movie with the fantastic puppets. And here are some explanations of what different cards do. Nice cup of tea. <laughs> So yeah, some, some additional explanation there. And on the back, some other River Horse products like the uh, Labyrinth board game, which I also reviewed. You can check that out by clicking the eye in the corner there. They also have a Labyrinth adventure game, which comes in the form of a book with some dice. And there is a card game as well. So next we have these tiles, which make up the board. You just punch them out. And there are some tokens here with the owl from the movie. And another part, which is, uh, again, and they are double-sided, so that's nice. So you can make different configurations of the board, I guess. And again, oops, and they come out very easily. <laughs> so there you go. And there's another one here, which is, again, double-sided. And here is the uh, podium which you can put together, and there is a, a center token there, which goes in the center of the board. And here is a nice spot in the insert to put all of those, which is great. So these inserts, you know, I've seen several River Horse games, they always come with an insert that basically fits all the components. The only thing I notice here is that the cards just fit into this slot, so if you sleeve them, then they won't fit anymore. So they could have made this deeper. There's plenty of room in the box. So I wish they had made this deeper so that I could, you know, sleeve my cards and just still put them in there. So that's a minor nitpick there if you want to. And there is, of course, the minis, which I will show you in a bit. I'll show you the dice first. They're nice and big, nice chunky dice with uh, printed uh, icons on them. So yeah. These are just, I don't know if you can see that a bit like this, see? These are all printed, so you have these different colored gems here. Here's one where I guess you can pick a color. And here is the owl. I haven't learned the rules yet, so here are some other icons. And again, the owl. So two nice and chunky plastic dice with printed faces. So we have those. Then let's take a look at the cards. All right, so they all have this nice bit of art on the back, as you can see. And on the front, you ha just have different 
things. You have worm swaps. Choose any two worms and swap their position. Or you can prod a worm in any direction. You can slide. <clears throat> you can pole vault over a wall. Nice cup of tea. Hedging the Goblin King. You can rotate the wheels of the board, changing up the uh, course. There's uh, several of those. So there's a take that element in this game as well. Here are a lot of gems, different gem cards. So it seems that takes up most of the deck. Double gems even. And there are some Alexa cards. Hello, Alexa. <laughs> And those are all the same. So there's just five of those cards, but Lex will probably do different things. So that's kind of interesting. Kind of want to try that out now. <laughs> and finally, we have, of course, the miniatures of the worms. Hello, come inside, meet the missus. <laughs> it's so cool. So they seem to be uh, pretty nicely done. Enough detail there. They look like they are in three parts. So there's a seam here, but you can barely see it because, you know, the worms have all of these ridges. So that's nicely tucked away in one of those ridges. And again, the second seam here is uh, at the neck where the scarf is. So that is really nicely done. So there's a yellow worm here. Let's see if they are all exactly the same or if they even made different sculpts. Uh, this one is the same. This is so the blue one is the same as the yellow one, just a different color. And here is the green one. Oops. <clears throat> and it looks like they are indeed all the same. Yeah. I had hoped there were different sculpts. So there is a green one. And finally, a hot pink one. Which again, yeah, is also the same. So yeah, you get four of these very colorful miniatures, which fit nicely into these slots in the box. And the cards go here. The tokens, or the podium, yeah, the podium goes there. You build that up and you just put that in there. And as you can see, these um, tiles that form the board go in there. And this indentation here is for the center parts, which will go on top of those. So you can simply store all of that inside here and then put these on top lastly. So let's just do that as well. Do a quick reboxing. So there's no dedicated spots for these tokens. So I'm just gonna put them here. I guess you can just toss them in. And then these will sit on top here. Um, I think I may, does that matter which way around? Well, they also rest here, but it seems with these puzzle pieces, it's a little bit uh, off center, but you know, it does fit. Once you get one of them in there, it's, it's good. And we have another round piece here, which you can also just toss on top of that. And you know what? I'll just show you how to put together this podium as well. There's a couple of pieces you need to push out here. You can just use one of these bits for that. They come out really easily. There's one at the top as well, all these different plateaus, and you simply fold this to the center. I guess this goes here to keep everything from folding too far in. And then there's the two and the three. So the three goes here. So that goes on top of that. Might be easier to do that first, actually. Three goes here and the two We'll go there and that has to be spaced, of course. So just hold that there and there until they both clip in. And you can do that, the bottom, and then this side 
and of course make sure to also put in the number one in top here before you all push it together and there you go it's a very simple podium which is actually open on the sides as you can see but that's you know that's okay so you have that and that has its own little spot over here and that's everything that's in the box and there you go and so that was my unboxing of ready steady worm by river horse i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you hit the bell icon you'll also get a notification whenever i upload a new video please also consider becoming a patreon saint to my channel you can support my channel for as little as just one dollar per month just click the Patreon link in the description below or the Patreon logo at the end of this video that will take you to my Patreon site and you will get access to some Patreon exclusive videos and articles on the Patreon page and your name in the credits of all of my videos as a Patreon saint, which really helps my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.